We have to be careful about mentioning jihadis because YouTube's trust and safety team has decided to protect them from criticism. Jihadis are now a protected group on the platform. And we have to be careful about mentioning the persecution of Christians because YouTube's trust and safety team has decided that it's hate speech to talk about the persecution of Christians. With that said, we do need to report the latest attack in Indonesia, but I'll try to soften the information as much as possible by only quoting an Islamic news source. Al Jazeera reports. A manhunt is underway after a group of sword and gun-wielding attackers killed four people in a remote part of the Indonesian island of Sulawesi, including one who was beheaded and one burned to death. The ambush took place in Lambantangoa village in central Sulawesi province on Friday morning. Authorities said the victims were members of a Christian community, but a police official said the assault was not religiously motivated. The attackers also torched half a dozen homes, including one used for regular prayers and services, police said. Al Jazeera accidentally pointed out that the victims were Christians. Apparently, Al Jazeera has forgotten that the code word for Christians who are slaughtered in the name of Allah is Easter worshippers. That rule was established in the aftermath of the 2019 Sri Lanka church bombings. But it is good to know that the attack in Indonesia was not religiously motivated. Police were hunting the suspects on Saturday, and no arrests have yet been made. Authorities blamed Sulawesi-based East Indonesia Mujahideen, MIT, one of the groups across the world's biggest Muslim-majority nation that have pledged allegiance to ISIL, ISIS. We reached the conclusion that they, the attackers, were from MIT after showing pictures of its members to relatives of the victims who witnessed the ambush said Yoga Priya Hutama, Sigi Regency Police Chief. The makeshift church that was attacked was empty at the time of the early morning assault, he added. So, jihadis who had pledged allegiance to ISIS slaughtered Easter worshippers and attacked a church, but the attack was not religiously motivated. These terrorist attacks never are, are they? People were just in their homes when it happened, Priya Hutama said. Lembantangoa village head Rifai, who, like many Indonesians, goes by one name, said one victim was beheaded and another was nearly decapitated. Some residents managed to escape, but the victims didn't make it, Rifai told the AFP news agency. One of the other male victims was stabbed, while a fourth was burned to death in his home, he added. So, of the four Easter worshippers who were slaughtered in the name of Allah in a terrorist attack that definitely wasn't religiously motivated, one was beheaded, another was nearly beheaded, meaning that his head was still partly attached to the rest of his body, one was stabbed to death, and one was burned to death. Jihadis may not be good at anything that would improve the world in any way, but when it comes to slaughtering people in lots of different ways, there's no one better. A little more about the victims. The Salvation Army Church in Indonesia said the victims were their members and condemned the violence as an inhuman act. We would like to express our sorrow and condolences to the deceased's families and members of the congregation who were affected, the Salvation Army said in a statement. Well, that's the latest on jihad in Indonesia. To the YouTube trust and safety team member who's watching this video to make sure it contains absolutely no hate speech, please note that I did everything YouTube has demanded of me. I didn't mention that the terrorists are Muslims. I didn't mention that the victims were Christians. I've conformed totally to the messages you morons and cowards on the trust and safety team sent me especially the messages informing me that jihadis are a protected group and that anything that might offend them is hate speech. I hope this short video about Easter worshippers being beheaded and nearly beheaded and stabbed to death and burned alive won't get me into any trouble with your amazing platform, which has become increasingly dedicated to protecting anyone who decides to slaughter Christians. By all means, Keep patting yourselves on the back from the comfort of your safe spaces over there at YouTube headquarters.
Maybe if you keep using your platform to shield jihadis from criticism, they'll praise you for your tolerance.